Hi, this is Patrick from BIM Object, and what I will show you here is a quick walkthrough of the newly released Steel Pro staircases and railings. I'll, I'll give you a uh, quick promo here of one of their products. So as you can see here, I'm in the uh, Revit app browsing the, uh, the product here. Uh, clicking in here on the SP200 residential, you have to the right, you have the Revit downloads. So this is a Revit release only. Uh, the different types uh, which is available for you here to download. Uh, you have the, all the usual information as description, links, related information and classifications uh, on your hand. So what I'll show you here is the SP200i residential um, straight stair uh, with a lead, uh, lead railing. Uh, so this is my uh, small project I have in Revit here. The stair is already preloaded. Uh, and these stairs are made as components. Uh, the reason for this is that the uh, all the constraints are built into. So, so this is ready to use stairs rather than different profiles um, for use with the with the internal Revit stair tool. Uh, so when I have this stair placed here uh, in my, you can see I have an opening in this slab as well. Uh, you have all the settings uh, for, for the stair as instance parameters here to, here to the left. Uh, the most interesting ones, of course, the materials and finishes here and the dimensions. Uh, so you can see you can set the different materials of the of the stair uh, already here to the, in the instance parameters. And under the dimensions, tab you have the different settings of the actual geometry the easiest the easiest way of going at this is using the using the total height and all the calculations will be done for you but you can of, of course also change the railing heights and uh, risers and so on so if we have a look at this in 3d you can see the stair doesn't really go all the way to the top here but it's placed and it looks very nice uh, so if we go to um, the elevations, I go to south here, uh, we can see that we have the level 2 at 4000 millimeters here. Uh, so what I do then is that I go into the setting and change the total height of the stair to just that 4000 millimeters. And uh, since it extends uh, from uh, from the bottom to the top, I have to go in here to the level 2 view and uh, change the position of the stair so that it fits the the shaft I've made in the slab, like so. And then if we have a new look in 3D, you can see, we can see that this stair has been placed in the correct position. You can also see that there's some geometry, text geometry at the bottom of the stair. And the reason for this is that we have now exceeded one of the limitations of this particular stair. Uh, as you can see, it says maximum length of stringers is six meters for longer stringer uh, length contact manufacturer. And these warnings are built in throughout the object. So if you uh, over constrain something, you do uh, any measurements too big or too small, the objects will tell you what is wrong and whether you can do it uh, as an option or, or not. So this will make it easier for you to actually uh, design a staircase which can be ordered or per uh, and purchased and placed in a project. Uh, uh, so very neat uh, functionality. Uh, so if you want to have a look at all the other staircases and lead railings, for example, for Steel Pro, just go to beamobject.com. They're free to download or use the Beamobject app for Revit to, uh, to download them. Thank you for watching.